to make this video for you guys for months when I first heard that this place right here behind me existed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the two-story ultra-luxury treehouse right here behind me. This baby comes with an 80-foot suspension bridge, which I'm currently standing on. As I'm speaking to you, it comes from the parking lot to the treehouse. It's insane. And it also comes with a freaking waterfall in the backyard. Like, Absolutely mind blowing. But if you want to check out this treehouse and Airbnb, the link is in the description of this video. As usual, it's the Airbnb listing. Also, you want to book this treehouse, any other treehouse and Airbnb, tiny house anywhere in the world. Check out my promo codes, Airbnb, as well in the description. You save money, I save money off our next Airbnb booking. It's a win win for the both of us. But as you can probably tell, I'm really excited about this one. So let's not wait any longer and start the tour of the two story ultra luxury treehouse. This is Chris, the owner and builder of the treehouse with his son, Ethan. Chris is an incredibly talented carpenter who built the treehouse in just 14 weeks. Now, this is the site you will see as soon as you park your car and venture towards your treehouse across the bridge. From this angle, this is the porch area. As you veer it more towards the right, back towards the parking lot area, you will begin to see just how long this bridge is. Chris told me the bridge is over 80 feet long. And again, he built this entire property in just 14 weeks and the bridge took him only one week. I barely remember how to even pick up a hammer these days, so hats off to Chris for all this incredible hard work. Now, real quick in regards to the location of this treehouse, it's on some very secluded land. And it's actually two minutes away from this beautiful lakefront area. You can go out on a boat or take a picnic out with your family and just relax. But now we're gonna head back towards the backyard area in the treehouse. This is one of my favorite shots in the whole video, peeking out from the woods. This is what the backyard area looks like. One of my favorite little sections of this area, there is a grill area, a fire pit, and two chairs. There's also a couple of logs. And I was just sitting down over here you can easily fit i would say four or five different people in this whole sitting area make some s'mores and just hang out at night now as we venture out more and explore more of the backyard i'm sure you're looking more towards the top near the hill and yes ladies and gentlemen that is a waterfall in the backyard even has a little pond at the bottom and this little dock area again the last thing i was expecting to find in the backyard of this treehouse those are these two gigantic reflecting glass windows, which you'll see more from the inside in just a second, but love the backyard area. Now we're going to swing around back to the front yard area, pick up our bags and things from the car and walk down the bridge to enter the interior of the treehouse through the front door. Welcome to the interior of the treehouse. The first thing you see when you walk in is the kitchen and also the giant reflecting window on the first floor. But the kitchen was really well done. I loved all the wood finishings and the countertops, all very modern and top of the line appliances as well. And this gigantic sink. So it's really everything you need to entertain or have a large family or group over to the treehouse. Now, I'm sure one of the first things you noticed when we walked into the front door was this massive window in the living room area. So as as you walk towards the window, you will see the outdoor waterfall and dock again. On one side of the living room, there is another sitting area, a Christmas tree, some more cushions to sit on, and in addition to a fireplace and widescreen TV up top, again with all modern finishes. Now, as we sit sides to a different side of the living room, there is a really plush couch, tons of lights, tables, and now looking out into the entire living room and kitchen area, there's more tables, countertops, and sitting areas, all with a very modern design with top of the line appliances. It's truly an amazing and luxurious space to do some hosting if you choose to stay here. I think this video still doesn't do Chris's place justice, so I want to include a few of my favorite photos directly from his Airbnb listing right here. 
Now onto the second floor. As mentioned, this is a two-story treehouse. It's 1,200 square feet. One of the first things you'll see on the second floor is this bunk bed area. It's perfect for the kids or if any friends want to stay over. And yes, as you go closer, it's a very modern and clean finish. There's way more space than you might think. I'm just under six feet and a bigger guy. And even me, I had no issue getting into the top bunk right over here. I was testing it out for you guys. Now, as we switch to the opposite end of the main room, once you you enter the second floor, there is the bathroom sink. It's located outside the main bathroom area with a shower and toilet, which I think is good in case someone is showering and the kids want to get ready or something like that. This is really great for a family, but just know there is only one bathroom in the treehouse. Now, as we enter the shower, it has these beautiful white subway tiles. As you begin to inch up higher and higher, there are two shower heads and yes, Guys, that is a chandelier right above the shower. Who would have thought to put a chandelier inside of a bathroom like this? Only Chris, I didn't expect to see that there at all. Now, welcome to the final room in the treehouse. This is the master bedroom, guys. You'll see the bed right here. It's absolutely massive and really, really plush and top of the line luxurious bedding right here. All the pillows, the blankets, and straight across the way right here. It's another widescreen TV and a chair. Then off to the corner right here, there is a mirror and another little table. And I'm sure you're eyeing again another, yes, massive window looking out onto the waterfall. And last but not least, I wanted to include a few more pictures right here of the second floor area. Area. Again, the bunk bed, the bathroom, and the master bedroom before heading back outside. That is going to conclude our tour guides of a two-story ultra luxury treehouse. If you enjoyed the video, please consider sharing this with your family or friends via Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, email, Twitter, whatever it may be. I believe this treehouse deserves to be shown off to more of the world. Chris just knocked it out of the park and did an amazing job. I'll also be showcasing his A-frame cabin next week, which is really just right down there. I can see it as I'm speaking to you. So if you like his treehouse, just wait till you see his A-frame cabin. But stay tuned for next week's video. And last but not least, comment down below what your favorite part or feature of his treehouse house is for me personally it was the waterfall out back just the last thing i was expecting so i'll talk to you guys in next week's video of chris's a frame cabin see you then